So one more thing that we try to do when we leave the desert, it, because the water is so hard here in Arizona, we always try to change our water filter, whether it's on a standard time or not. And this one's pretty dirty. It's got a lot of scum on the inside. Not looking so black anymore, so. Time to change the water filter again. So if you've got one of these all in-house water filters in your RV, it's just a canister and um, you just take out the old one, rinse this out. I, uh, I wipe it out with a paper towel, put the new one in and reinstall. Pretty good. No leaks. Time to move. It is. It just went by so fast. It did. So we had a great day at church. We went out with some new friends that we met at church. Had uh, brunch. And now we're back and packing up in the heat. It's 89 degrees. <laughs> so we got to pack up the uh, Can-Am, load the car, because we're leaving in the morning. That's right. For a three-day trip. For a three-day cruise. <laughs> Three-hour cruise. <laughs> I have to air up my tires because I normally run like 11 pounds of air pressure in the Can-Am tires, but I'm airing them up to their maximum because they tend to lose air as we travel. And uh, if I don't air them up, then the straps squish the tires in and the straps come loose when we're traveling. So I always air them up to max before we travel. That's a good tip.
Yay! Everything's clean. Everything's clean. And it's starting to get a little windy again, but it's also a little chilly. It's cooled down. It feels good because it was... I'm going to miss the warmth. Yeah, me too. We're going to go to 30 degree nights. 40s. 30s. Don't be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Mid 40s. Oh, how come? I don't know. We'll see. We'll be fine. We're all packed up. Yeah. The Can Am's loaded. The yeah. car's loaded. Everything, snack bags, food for tomorrow. Everything's done. Food for done. tomorrow's done. Yeah. We're Dinner's ready to hit the road. The next few nights. We're good. So we're going on our last stroll in Arizona. Yes, we are. We've been doing it almost every night. Yeah, tonight's gonna be nice because it's not so hot. Because it was almost 100 today. This is what. Don't quit being so dramatic. <laughs> hey, I have a reason. Begin workout. Oh, looks into we that. Better begin our workout. <laughs> okay. Off we're, we already, go. we're already in time. Five seconds, we haven't gone anywhere, so we gotta go. All right, here we go. All right. About time to hit the road. It is. I think we got everything. I think. All right. Where'd my checklist go? Here it is. Bedroom closet doors are yes. locked. Yes. Furnace vents out. Shower doors are locked. Windows have been checked. TV antenna is off. Water pump is off. Water heater is off. AC is off. Cupboards have been checked. Microwave plate? Yep. Turkey stand has been moved. Dishwasher's done. Shutters and ottomans are in. Dishwasher's locked. Refrigerator's locked. The garage door is closed. The rear ramp door is closed and locked. The carpet runners are down. The bedroom door.
our first fill up since the gas prior fuel prices went up. How much was your total? About 850 bucks with def. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll you work see for fuel. <laughs> now you see why we have to um, increase our budget a little bit. But that'll get us 1,800 miles. So we'll be good. We'll probably top off in Oklahoma somewhere because it's cheap and that'll get us back to Montana. So it was like, what, 474 Yeah. a gallon? Yeah. So 526 at the pump, but. Yeah. So here we go down the road again. Cities. Yeah, here we go. On the road. Let's spend that fuel. <laughs> Let's spend that money. Gonna take a leap from the greatest height. My heart goes up and my wings catch flight. He'd appreciate that. Pay the man. He could tell us where to go. <laughs> you always come in smiling. Kind of a quirky little place. Yeah. I mean, they have a bottle tree made of old bottles. 
they have cactus made out of PVC pipes. And is it that, looks like is that a rock mountain or something? Rock tree? You see that? No. Oh. Right behind the sign. It's anyway. a pyramid. <laughs> and now he's got three yellow satellite antennas sitting out that, that I guess he's going to do something with, huh? <laughs> I don't know. All right, where am I at? Gosh, uh, we're at 94. What's for dinner? Michelle's favorite casserole. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's so nice. You get off the road after a day of traveling. I know. And have food. <laughs> this is what Kelly, uh, this is what she prepared and shared with everybody. Yeah, in the last video. So now all she's got to do is put it in the microwave. I put it on. I put it on for three minutes, but I check it after two, just in case. Well, how'd you sleep? I slept really well. Good. The noise didn't bother me, or I didn't even hear it. Good. It's a nice little park. You know, like I say, if you travel long distance enough times, you have your favorites, and this is one of our go-to stops. It just. Yeah. It's really convenient. Like I say, a 90 foot pull through site, no trees, no curves to worry about. It's just very, very nice. That was day one. This is day two of our three day trip to Texas. It is, and I need to go take a picture for that so I can hit it on Instagram. Okay. So we really appreciate you guys coming along. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little different this time. Yeah, well, you packing know, up a day in the life. It's kind of fun having it <laughs> switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get on the road, and we will talk to you guys next week. So from Deming, New Mexico. It all starts with an idea. Hey, thanks for coming along, guys. We sure appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.